Hello and welcome to our video on how to streamline your purchase invoice process. My name is Thomas and I'm going to take you on this 15 minute overview video on how you can automate your purchase invoice processing. So to start off with Dracer, as an organization we're based in the UK but we sell our software throughout the world. We have about four and a half thousand organizations who use our products and we sell our products through our business partner network, which consists of around 500 business partners. We're a leading ISV, so independent software vendor, and we create award winning solutions that focus around real business challenges such as credit control, document management, payments, and the one we're going to look at today, which is purchase invoice automation. Now at Dracer, we make a number of solutions that, that are appropriate for a number of the different ERP marketplaces that we work in. Today, we're really going to focus around Sage 200. And these are the products that work with our Sage 200 solutions. Uh, everything from spindle document management for capturing, archiving, scanning documents coming in and out of Sage 200 and being able to link them to transactions and easily see copies of documents associated with those transactions, all the way through to making those documents available on a portal for our product Spindle Self-Serve, where customers can even go online and place orders themselves if they wanted to. Requisitions around looking at, at that purchase order request process and putting efficiency around that. Report scheduler for scheduling out reports and sending them in a timely base, basis. Uh, Credit Hound for chasing outstanding debt and reducing the amount of time it takes us to get paid even down to looking and putting efficiency around if you find yourself keying in a lot of data from Excel into Sage, can we automate that process through our product, uh, Excel Data Bridge. But as we mentioned, the one we're gonna focus on today is spindle document recognition and spindle approvals. And that forms our purchase invoice automation process. Now let's take a step back and understand why do we need a purchase invoice automation process. So quite often when processing purchase invoices into Sage 200, it's quite a time intensive process. There's lots of admin involved in being able to match those purchase invoices, key them in and making sure they're correct and the information I'm keying into Sage is correct at that point in time. The more purchase invoices you have, the larger the amount of time it's gonna take us to process them. However, it's not always reserved for large, large users uh, and creators of per and people who manage purchase invoices. Often it can also be driven as a massive challenge for people who just have a smaller team or people that aren't necessarily dedicated to processing purchase invoices. And instead, that's just one of their many duties they have within the accounts department. In this case, if we can automate as much of that process as possible, it can bring a real benefit to many organizations. Often in Sage 200 in particular, it's very common for us to have multiple entities and multiple companies. And again, that creates an extra admin factor when we're having to process invoices across multiple companies and entities and having to spend a lot of our time moving in and out of those entities within Sage in order to process those individual invoices. If we are having to match those invoices as they come in against purchase orders, goods received notes, and so on, then that manual matching again is massively time intensive. Add in an approval process, which often can be a case of printing out documents, putting them on people's desks and requiring signatures. The whole process from start to finish is very admin intensive and very time intensive as well. So at Dracer, we've come up with a solution to automate and to put a lot of efficiency around this process. And that's our spindle document recognition and spindle approval solutions. The key benefit of a solution like this is it has reduced the need for manual data entry when we're entering and purchase invoices and trying to automate as much of the process as possible. Now, often if I've got say for example, 100 purchase invoices I'm looking to process, what I'm really looking for is the ones that don't match my purchase order and the ones that don't match my goods received notes and so on. I'm looking for the exceptions, not for every invoice that I'm having to process. Obviously when I'm doing it manually, I have to process every single one of those 100 invoices, but using a solution like document recognition, I can actually automate as much as that as possible, and then just really focus on the exception, the ones that don't match, the ones that need my attention. 
In order to develop our spindle document recognition solution, we worked in partnership with Canon. Now, many people will recognize the Canon brand from photocopiers and cameras and so on. So it makes perfect sense that they've got a massive division within their organization that focuses on extracting data from documents, which is also known as OCR technology. Now, the reason we decided to partner with Iris is because it's an enterprise level solution. There's lots and lots of organizations and massive organizations across the world using this kind of technology. And really at Dracer, we wanted to focus on bringing this technology and bringing it to a level where anyone can benefit. Quite often in the past, these kind of invoice automation solutions were reserved for people who wanted to invest lots and lots of money into them. However, now actually you can benefit from these kind of solutions, even if you're just processing a couple of hundred purchase invoices a month. Now, as we mentioned, OCR is all around extracting the data from the document. Intelligent document recognition is then doing something with that data. So once I've lifted all that data electronically off the purchase invoice, what do I want to do with it? And quite often what I want to do with it is I want to process it within Sage. I want it to match uh, against my purchase order and my goods received notes and so on. Now that's our two-way and three-way matching, which we can do within the product. Two-way against the purchase order, three-way matching. I might have ordered that amount of items and I've got an invoice for that amount of items, but have I actually received them? And document recognition will automate that match for you. But we don't want to just match at the purchase order level. I don't want to match a £100 purchase order against a £100 purchase invoice. I can go to a deeper line level on that. I might unit quantities matched or my unit price is matching and that's what the solution will do for you we can match the goods received notes again have i received the, the right amount of these solutions even highlighting things like duplicates which we want to pull out right at the start of the process rather than at the end when we've already posted these invoices or attempted to post it, these invoices in as we mentioned Add the approval workflow, and that often creates a very challenging uh, process for managing purchase invoices. However, as part of our solution, we can include spindle approvals tool. It's included, but the great thing about it is you can have unlimited users. So even if you've got users that just make a couple of approvals a month or a couple of approvals a year, they can still be a user of the application. They can still have a license, and there's no additional cost implications for that. It's an online approval tool, so we can view it through a web browser, and they also get access to the PDF document that they need to approve. So the purchase invoice, along with all the purchase order information that's required in order for them to make that informed approval. So let's talk a little bit more about how that journey of the purchase invoice works. So quite often the purchase invoice will be received electronically. We can drag and drop that over to the invoice recognition system or alternatively we can send it to an email address which will automatically upload it into uh, document recognition once that document's been received we are going to use ocr technology to extract the data from that document and then use our sage 200 business logic to do the matching are we matching against the purchase order are we matching against the goods received note now it's worth noting at this point we don't have to do two-way or three-way matching if you just want to process a purchase invoice without doing the matching to that we can do that as well once we've done that matching we're then going to decide whether something needs verification or not now if this particular document for example doesn't match our purchase order then verification will be required and that's where we're asking the user to come in and take an extra look at this document now if everything matches the purchase order and the, these uh, the purchase invoice is a complete match then we can just skip that process and go straight to the posted and archiving. Or alternatively, does it need approval? If it needs approval, we can then e send an email notification to the required approvers, letting them know that they need to go on and make that approval for the invoice. Once the invoice has been approved, we're then gonna post and archive that transaction within Sage. And the great thing in not, is not only are we going to archive the uh, document, but we're also gonna post the transaction in there as well. So they're both linked together and we have that full audit trail. So let's have a little look at the solutions in more action. First of all, as we mentioned, we're gonna get our document and quite often we receive that via email. That goes, we can forward that onto a, our specific document recognition email address, which is gonna upload the document into our system. We're gonna extract that data from the document. We're gonna make those matches and then we're gonna give the user a status update. 
In this case, we can decide whether that's been document needs further verification. So it's going to tell us that verification is required. It might be that the documents match the purchase order and it can go straight away and be posted and archived. Alternatively, it might go to an approval workflow where someone's been notified and now they, they need to make the approval. Once they've made the approval, it can then be posted and archived. In this case, let's have a little look more at the verification process. So we can see here that we've got a copy of our document. Now within the document uh, recognition solution, we're gonna extract that top level information so we can really understand what's happening with this document. First of all, we picked up which Sage company it belongs to. We picked up the supplier reference and what supplier this uh, document's linked with as well. Even down to things like the order number that we picked up and we can go back and find the order number and the purchase order against this particular purchase invoice. What we do with the system is always do these little round robin checks. So if this purchase order in Sage doesn't belong to this particular supplier, then again, that's going to highlight a red flag. Something along this process has gone along, along the way. So we can ask for that further verification. In this case, it all matches up. And we're also going to drill down and have a look at that, the other information off the purchase invoice. At this point, we're looking at the header, but we want to look at the line level information, the footer information, whether we've got delivery charges and so on our VAT analysis, which again, we can make changes to if we need to, all the way through to those nominal codes as well. If we've created these nominals as part of a purchase order process, then again, they'll be carried through into the posting of the invoice, exactly as they would be if you were gonna manually enter this invoice into Sage. So having a look at the line level information in a little bit more detail. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see where the OCR solution is picked up all of the data from the actual purchase invoice. And at the top of the screen, we've got a snapshot of that particular purchase order information that we've drilled to in Sage 200. So for within the software itself, we've instantly got that view back into our Sage 200 data. Now, as we can see here, we've matched all of our invoice lines apart from the line number three at the bottom. And we can see that we've ordered two and the unit price on this item was £2.52. Now, if we match that to our line on our purchase order, we can see that, yep, we ordered two, but actually the unit price was £2.49. That's why this document's been sent to verification, because in essence, the pricing doesn't match what we've received on the purchase, uh, what we sent on the purchase order to what we've received on the purchase invoice. I can now select that line. I can fill in that line, although it's still going to highlight that as a discrepancy for us within the system at this point. And that is therefore going to trigger our approval workflow. So our approval will have now received an email letting them know that there's a document that they need to approve and a purchase invoice that they need to make an approval on. They can click on the approval and it's going to take them through to our online approval module. As we mentioned, they can have as many users of this approval workflow as they wish, all included as part of the system. In this case, as you can see, our approval workflow details lots of information to them. Everything from uh, approvals when they've been completed, what's awaiting approval, what's pending approval. Once we drill down and we want to have a look at our specific approval, we can then start having a look at more information around that. Now that includes nominal information, purchase order information. I can have access to the full document itself, the full physical PDF. I can go in and see that for our approval process. And I even get a timeline of seeing who else is involved in this approval process, when it was sent to me, how many times I've viewed it. And we have various different admin levels within the approval tool, including an approval status where you can be an admin. You can go in and look at approvals that you're not involved with to see when were they received, how many times the person's viewed them, and even redirect that approval if it's required. I can then make my approval, and upon approval, my document then can be archived and my transaction can be posted within Sage 200 itself. Now that's gonna get posted and the values are gonna be updated within purchase order processing. So as we can see here, we've ordered a quantity of 10, received 10, and we've got the invoice for eight and that's what we've updated within Sage 200. We will have also archived a physical copy of the purchase invoice that's automatically been archived for us. Now, if you've got a purchase invoice that relates to multiple purchase orders, again, that archived document will be archived against the relevant purchase orders, not just a single one. 
I can click on my view documents here and I can instantly go and see a copy of that purchase invoice. If I'm using document management, I'll also find other documents in here as part of that document management workflow, including things like a purchase order, for example. Now, not only will I see those documents within purchase order processing, but I can also view those documents back in the purchase ledger as well. So that invoice is now viewable in the purchase ledger along with the transactional information, and it's going to be viewable anywhere else within Sage where I might want to view that document back, most notably the other place being the nominal ledger. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of the spindle purchase invoice recognition solution. As I mentioned, that forms one of our many products that we have available for Sage 200, and also the spindle approvals part, which really helps with those approval workflows which relate to the document recognition solution. So if you've seen something that's interested you today and you want to see it in more detail, then please get in touch. Either please get in touch with ourselves directly or speak to your Sage 200 business partner who will be able to set up a more in-depth uh, demonstration with you. We understand that everyone has a slightly different purchase invoice process to the next person, so it's really great to do a, a demonstration where we can talk through exactly how the solution would work for you. If you already have some form of tracer solution, then again, we can speak to you about how you add these modules on, any upgrades that are required, and we can also give you an idea of uh, any costings. In terms of who supports and installs this software, at Dracer, we're a completely channel business. So we work with your Sage 200 business partner who will supply, install, and support the software for you. So if it's something of interest, please speak to your Sage 200 business partner, or alternatively, please get in touch with ourselves and we'll work with yourself and your business partner in order to arrange a demonstration to have a look at the solution further. So really appreciate you taking the time out to look at Spindle Document Recognition today. I hope you found it useful. And if you do have any questions, please get in touch.